Hi guys, uh, welcome to Tech Defeat. This is Farid. In this video, I'm going to show you how exactly we have to uh, integrate the e application with the database. So, as of now, uh, we got this skeleton with the four pages. Things I want to uh, store something, you know. Uh, this is a form, and I want to store the whole details of this form in my database. So, how exactly I do is I need it. Uh, first of all, I'll do one thing I'll have to create a database first. For that, I have to go to PHP My Admin, and in that, I create a database via a. Fine. In this uh, in this database, I have as I told you name, email, subject, body. I'll create a table. Table. Um. Suppose via underscore contact. I use a prefix via ID. Take ID normal it's a uh, two increment and it's a primary key. Subject, I can say subject something two hundred two fifty five. You can give and another is body. I can keep it body like this, and I'll, it's a text area, so I'll go with the text. Fine. This is my table and I'll have to save this table to my database. I'll go to the SQL script and I'll paste this thing. Yep, looks like it. Then it's created a table. Nothing but as of now we designed a database and we created a simple table to store this data to store this this. In this video, I'm gonna show you how exactly we have to enable the things, you know. How exactly we enable the database, integrate the, our application with the database. So as of now we have a contact us page. So we, as I told you in my earlier video, I we have a magical GII module. Um, first of all, before uh, going to this, what exactly a module is? A module is an independent functionality. We can say independent functionality. It acts like a child application nothing but it has the complete related features all features all associated all related some group of related features put together we can call them as module as you can see this GIA is a module it has something that creates creates controller you can say create uh, views you can say create uh, models you can say the whole thing it will generate for us and it will place in the appropriate uh, appropriate places and it behaves like a small application so it independent a individual a group of associated uh, some functions you can say some properties you can say group of some functionalities individual functionality put together is acts like a module fine so here what i have to do i want to use the gia modules for that i will uncomment this and i'll give a password i'll do keep this as a password only to remember and uh, ip address is fine this is uh, okay with uh, when you are working local when you are working in a remote uh, then you must change this with uh, your uh, server ip so that then only you will allow this by default whenever this code go to the production we have to disable this thing so that you know uh, 
what exactly the disadvantage if we don't disable it is when we go to the production at the time if we run these things the whole controller controllers are again generated overrated we have an option over there to override the existed control controllers due to which your whole custom and customization logic which were you did which you spend the time you spend on this controller to develop the thing the whole things will be gone in by just one single click so whenever this you go to the production you have to disable the ga this is the main security concern uh, which we got while we working we used to we have to do like that so i just uh, what i said why just uh, enable the ga module so as you can see in this url as we are typing site slash controller right so i'll type here g it's a module nothing but g i a is ask for password as a given as a gave password as password fine nothing i logged in so here i have option to create controllers i have option to create um, spread generators spread generators is the best thing is you know it will create model and controller and views in that place places so the main question is as of now we have just enabled the gia things we haven't configured the database so for that if we go to just scroll below you will we have a db database settings and configuration in database php in the earlier version it was here only nothing but it's a simple array you will find here in the database file that was here only and then in this version they moved this to database so nothing but orally the earlier script were like this this is a small array and it's retaining there so earlier the code is used to like that array in this db name db user db password it was like that as of now also but in the need to maintain the uh, database uh, details in the separate file so the created a new file and they their configuration here so as of now uh, i'll just uncomment edit and uh, i want to say change the settings string is my my sql local hostel database name is i have created yii sql lite uncomment this i am not using this i am using my sql so i am using this uh, emulator prepare true username password that's it utf it we have an i also have an option like you know prefix uh, something like that to, so that it will generate with that one so i created the things here so it's as of now it just refresh here and i when i go to this red generator oh, as of now i have a table something like that contacts why i i see it shows why i see does not exist syntax error so Contact is not. We have to first of all we have to create the models so that we can we have to create current generators. So by I am creating y underscore contact. So I remove this prefix y c. Hmm? For this I am creating model class. Model class is ready to create generated. Okay. now you see thing if you see you got a model what exactly a model is as of now mvc model view controller well till now we got the idea clear picture about what exactly controller about exactly a view now in this in this 
video we will get uh, the clear picture of what exactly a model is a model is a, is a persistent class you can say a model is persistent class that has the all database fields database fields and rules what exactly the uh, things for the database so thing you know i uh, have I given a integer as an integer auto increment not null fine so it's a unique kind of things and i have given uh, the string var char email subject and the string body so i have given if you can remember i have given something with the length right for 150 length for email 150 length for this one and subject 255 body is text area i haven't uh, kept anything so it is safe Thing, but it will take maximum so it will allow these things fine so that is up to that and these are the labels we can customize here thing so here as of now we got a model component now we have to generate crud for it so what are the things we have we have contact hmm? so controller contact controller it will create and it will generate so now as of now we had only the site controller now we got contact controller in contract controller filters access rules access view action create action update action action delete action index action everything fine so thing is you know what i do now i just uh, go to my application um as of now i go i'm done with looks like i'm done with the work with the gaa i got the model and i got the controller and views so if i go to the here as of now i have a contact it's a contact us page create contact when creating on i'm just logging in it's normal name email con subject body name read email ecdfeed.com at gmail.com subject testing contact page huh? sample message hmm? now I created created see now this is done the list is done you want to create an another create Vahid take different don't come and gmail don't come welcome welcome to take the feed fine this is also created we go to the list see two records over there go to the database go to the check how many fields did i touch any code to save the records in database no nothing but the whole things is done as of, as you can see as you can see here create a contract nothing but name email subject i have a specific length of 155 it's done see i want to delete this record delete contact delete also none i can see you can see filter also complete get nothing but the only theming is a basic theme we can change this basic view also the complete crud operations is done with this so nothing but the whole add edit update edit i want to go with the edit right so he the edited see edited just edited right everything 
right now you can write the validations from here also simply go to the model in rules email max 10 hello now just This is also um, more than 10 characters. See, email is too long, maximum 10 characters. Nothing but here we reduce the JavaScript or validations by creating uh, by creating rules in models. We can restrict user to enter um, enter the value thing. This is uh, another security concept. So validations were we used to maintain at both side client side validations using jquery javascript and any libraries and this is a server side validations so but to maintain our database secure so this is uh, in this video hope you guys uh, got complete picture about how exactly uh, we have to create the models and we have to create controllers and views how exactly we have to do the database operations you have any queries regarding this just uh, comment below see you in the